Two women in Ottawa are making legal history, becoming co-mothers to a young disabled boy named Elan. Joining us now with more on this is Elan's mom, Natasha Bact, and Elan's adopted mom, Linda Collins. They're joining me this morning from Ottawa. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being here. Thanks Hi. for having us. So, Linda, how did this come to be? <laughs> Give us the backstory here. Sure. Uh, well, Natasha and I are friends and colleagues, and when she decided to have a baby on her own, I volunteered to be the birth coach. And I really just kind of fell in love with Elan. He's an amazing person. Basically, everybody who meets him falls in love with him. And as I just became more and more involved in his life, eventually I, I took on a parental role. And we just eventually decided that we wanted to legalize that. Natasha... Why? Why not just have Linda be a special aunt or have that kind of a role? Why adoption? Um, it was important for a number of reasons. I mean, really, the law was kind of catching up with the way that our, our life was panning out. I mean, Linda was involved from day one, and her role was sort of ever-expanding. Um, and, you know, Elan really relates to Linda like a, like a parent or like a child, parent-child relationship. Um, and, you know, as a parent, you're always sort of worrying about what will happen to your child if something happens to you. And, you know, with a, when you have a child with disabilities, that's a fear that is, you know, very prominent. Yeah. And I was just thrilled that Linda was willing to be the other parent, be there in case something happened to me. It was important for Linda symbolically, but it was also just really important for her to be able to make medical decisions, to be able to contribute in the way that a parent would. So we didn't plan it that way, but it happened organically. And then we really wanted to just... Um, have it legalized. So this is completely legal. Were there difficulties along the way? What sort of challenges did you face? You know, there weren't difficulties for us. We were uh, lucky to get a judge who really uh, took the appropriate approach, which is to always prioritize the best interests of the child. And it, it actually wasn't an adoption. That's maybe a technical point. It wasn't under the Adoption Act. It was a declaration of parentage but it has the exact same legal effect. So I now have the same legal status uh, as somebody who gave birth to him. And so what is, is there an arrangement then with this or how often, Linda, do you have visits? Explain how the whole thing works. Oh, sure, yeah. So I sold my house about five years ago and bought a condo that's directly above Natasha and Elan's condo. And so we live a pretty normal uh, family, or average, I should say, family life uh, other than sleeping time. So I, you know, obviously sleep in my own apartment and I get to have some, some quiet times up there, but we share our evenings and weekends and holidays and you know actually our family life looks pretty average most of the time. Linda, what do you think this brings to Elon's life? I mean obviously I'm sorry, I that question I meant for Natasha. Pardon me. Okay. <laughs> I gotta balance um, this out. <laughs> yes, please. You know, in many ways, the declaration of parentage itself probably means nothing to him. I mean, nothing's changed in our lives. We continue to have dinner together. You know, I continue to sleep with Ilan. Linda's downstairs in our apartment first thing in the morning. She does all his nighttime routines. So really nothing's changed day to day. Um, but for the future, um, you know, things are a little more secure for him um, financially. Um, you know, he's got two parents now who are responsible for him. So it makes a difference for his future. Um, day to day, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. We've been really fortunate that Linda's been involved in a loving parent um, for, for many years now. Well, it's a really lovely story. I mean, Elon is so lucky to be adopted and to have two wonderful mothers. It's, uh, it's a really beautiful story. I'm glad you were able to talk to us today. Natasha back, Linda Collins, thanks for your time. Thanks, thanks for so having much. us. All the best. You too.